Hello Taurus, welcome to your monthly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Someone's mind is uh, very clear at this time, seeing things uh, the way that they should be, finally. Okay, we have cycle, new beginnings with new supportive connections, people. Uh, some of you are going to be getting a lot of uh, inspiring uh, feelings this month, as well as people very attracted to you as well. I'm seeing uh, new love as well as past love. It's almost like you're exuding uh, this energy of enlightenment and people are just magnetically attracted to you at this time spirit says pull one more so i'm going to optimism consciousness it's because you're more positive this month so there is advice here to keep a positive mindset as it's been difficult uh so that things start moving in the right direction we have reconciliation yeah the return of a past soulmate and divine masculine can be dealing with a twin flame here but uh, someone's returning as well. Okay, so overall energy, nine of cups. My goodness, wish fulfillment. Feeling uh, at ease as well. I'm picking up a euphoric feeling. I just see all of a sudden it's like you have the Midas touch this month. Uh, the universe is blessing you with this extra oomph of uh, love and light energy. Okay, so you are the Hanked Man, Seven of Swords, Nine of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. So I see you're projecting this energy to the world that you're not going to take any bull anymore, right? So you're focused on the things that are important to you. You're not letting anything else or anyone deter you away from the things that you're focused on. But I kind of like the Seven of Swords, Hanked Man. You've been enlightened. You start to understand that, okay, Things are not quite what they seem, that I can create my own reality. I don't have to just feel sad all the time. I don't have to feel down. So again, the universe is taking control. Hanged man. Let's see the hanged man. Sun. Yeah. Enlightenment here. You suddenly realize that you need to start looking at the positive side of things, even though it was really difficult. Even though things have been so hard, this can be in regards to finances here or work, especially with the Nine of Wands, but it's like your endurance is impeccable and you're being rewarded for um, having integrity in how you handled something here. So let's see what's going on in their energy. Ten of Swords, Ace of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. So they can't let go. This person is not saying anything. They're not stepping forward, but at the same time, they're not able to let go. They're kind of stuck in this in-between because we have the Ace of Wands, Ten of Swords. Something's ended here uh, in a very harsh way, but with the Ace of Wands, there's hope, there's inst inspiration as well. Tell me the Ten of Swords. World, a new cycle's beginning here. Star. Two of Swords, Page of Swords. This is about finally dealing with the truth, getting down to the bottom of things as well. They did not make a decision. It's like they procrastinated on doing anything or really uh, owning up to some things here that they let you slip through their fingers. Uh, it's almost like they had no control over this as well. They feel like the universe took you away from them in a sense, even if they don't believe in that. Uh, I see that they feel like something is not fair uh, and it feels like it was out of their hands. High Priestess, yes. So they've learned a tough lesson here. Ten of Wands, Page of Wands. Uh, have had a lot going on as well and they feel like things are very unfair. It's just... It was outside circumstances that stopped this. So let's see what's going on in the past. Let's get some more details. We have Nine of Pentacles, Emperor, and the Ten of Pentacles. So they could have been very focused on work, their home life, finances here. Uh, I see somebody just solely focused on the physical realm, not love at all. They can be very stubborn and bullheaded when it comes to opening up or trying to talk to them about the future because they're so focused and uh, goal-oriented on something. 
This can be a person, place, or thing. Tell the Emperor. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, Five of Cups, that they let you slip through their fingers here. They missed an opportunity. It's almost like it was too good to be true because they took you for granted here. They realized that at this time, they had you in their back pocket, but they were focused on their finances or whatever they were building up in their life, and they felt like they can check back with you later. Still keeping you in this connection, but something suddenly ended here. Five of Cups, a disappointment. It's almost like they dropped the ball, or if you have left them, which I see some of you have, uh, or just kind of slowly uh, detached, they started to realize, oh, I'm very unsure of this now. I took this for granted. I thought that uh, they were always going to be with me. They were always going to be loyal uh, and that I didn't have to worry about this. What they misjudged here was nurturing this connection along the way. They felt like they didn't have to, that you were strong, independent, and you are. It's showing you are in the Nine of Pentacles, but they felt like okay, they don't need that affirmation from me. They don't need me to let them know these things because I'm unsure about the future when it comes to love. But at the same time, they're never going to go anywhere. They love me. Uh, so I see that they just made a poor judgment call on this. Uh, tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Two of Wands, yeah. Their indecisiveness because they thought they had you long term no matter what, that in the end, they will stay with me. Um, they've always been there for me. They're never going to go anywhere. They've put up with a lot already. So uh, they just kept pushing the envelope more and more. But that became a decisiveness because of the two of wands, since they chose to do that, it uh, became hurtful towards you. It's almost like performance punishment, you know, putting more pressure on somebody because they know you can handle it. But it doesn't make it fair. It doesn't make it right. Uh, the challenge six of wands three of swords and the ace of cups yeah i do see a third party situation going on they can be in a committed situation already but it doesn't have to be a person it can be a place or thing because they some of them are very focused on the material realm but i see that it became very painful because you felt like you weren't chosen they never wanted to focus on you or make you a priority and with the ace of cups it seemed like it never moved past this point that they were making you feel as if they did care about you in the beginning, but they didn't back it up with anything. They didn't continue to nurture this to grow. It just stayed in first gear. And it felt like they just let this connection go as if it wasn't important to them. And so that was very hurtful here in the Three of Swords. It was a lot of heartbreak, a lot of pain that was unnecessary, you feel, as well, because they were all about themselves in their ego 24-7. It's kind of like just being apathetic towards your feelings just because you can handle it uh, didn't make it right. So with the Six of Wands, because at the same time, they still weren't willing to be honest with you, open up and tell you why they were doing that. King of Cups. Yeah, they love you deeply here, okay, but not willing to follow their heart or act upon uh, how they feel. So with Three Swords. Justice and the Knight of Wands. So it shows me a lot that they were acting towards you in the energy of uh, not really caring too much about it, very hot and cold, because they didn't feel that they needed to really nurture this. This is what I keep seeing here. Tell so the Ace of Cups, which left an extreme imbalance in this connection. Uh, Two of Pentacles. Page of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, yeah. And slowly, as time went by, they gave less and less. Even though they weren't even giving that much in the beginning, it felt like they just kind of left things in limbo. And it was very frustrating here. Because I see you did a lot, you put a lot of effort in, but it just wasn't reciprocated. Again, uh, I think you had a reading like this as well um, a week ago or last, yeah, towards last month where they're just not willing to see the value of what you bring to the table. And it becomes very frustrating here because you are some of the most loyal people that you'll ever meet. 
Moon, Devil, Seven of Cups, Six of Swords, and the Eight of Swords for what's about to happen. So a lot of you are trying to move on. Look at the brighter side of things. And as this is happening, someone's really starting to hold on and grip for dear life. That they need to do something about this. Something that is going to bring everything out in the open. And it's going to shock you as this is revealed. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action this is what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, though, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys. Many blessings to you, and I'll see you next time.